Hello and welcome to St. Croix. The video is the approach into Frederickstead on the island of St. Croix. The pier there is a Frederickstead Pier. It's 1,526 feet long, 12 foot at the shallow end and about uh, 35, 40 to deep end. It's very diveable. Uh, boats come on Saturday, so there's no diving on Saturday. If you do it, do it with a dive operator. This is the hotel on the quay. Very nice place. Has a bar, restaurant, and beach all on the island. Views from all the rooms are gorgeous from the balconies. Any direction you look. This is a front view of, Frederick, of Christiansted Bay. This is the water taxi it comes and picks you up every 10 minutes to take you to the mainland or back. Dock with the dive boat's docked. And the dive boat. Trip out to the dive site. Water is a little rough, wind was a little high. Not terrible. Still with beautiful scenery and good looking island. In the water. This is my dive buddy my best friend and my wife. She's also a very good fish finder. Traveled the Caribbean quite a bit together and had a great time doing it. This is a truck fish. And this is a squid. We ran into about three, four of them. This one decided he could be videoed. Very fluid swimmers very intelligent animals. He got a little scared, put his big eyes on there, try to scare you away and make you think he's bigger than he is. Highly intelligent. He gets a little further away and a little more relaxed. You turn those eyes off and go on about doing what squids do. This is a glass fish. It's a type of puffer or uh, porcupine called a glass fish because of its markings like stained glass. These are juvenile drumfish. They will grow into fish without the long flapping dorsal fins, but they're very graceful and very beautiful as they're young. To see two of them together, they will always seem to be coordinated and, and practice dance. This is some soft coral, and it looks like a fug, fuzzy dog in the surge there. Very pretty stuff. Wife says it's soft feeling, kind of tubular. I don't feel the things too much. I watched her touch things that go ouch. This is an arrow crab. Close up of him. Very cute close up. This spotted eel decided to take a little swim. That's not the eel. That's a camera noise. These are very beautiful swimmers, very graceful. They usually hide under rocks or coral. You don't see them out in the daytime too much. This one decided to take a leisurely swim, take a look around. Gave us the opportunity to video him. Scorpion fish, only the face only a mother could love. It's a pretty green moray, about three or four foot long. Trying to look ferocious, but actually he's just having some cleaning work done on his mouth and teeth. It's necessary, and things they eat kind of tend to grow stuff on them. Fairly docile, as long as you don't poke at them or get too close. You can get fairly close, don't stick anything in their mouth, though, they will keep it. Just some beautiful feather dusters on a coral head. Here's the fish finder goofing off with the dive master. They have some sea brittles there playing with and aggravating. Kind of a skinny, fast starfish. Lots of colors and lots of sizes, depending on where you are and what the water's doing. We had to work pretty hard at finding some of these treasures because, as you'll see in this next video, it's not real pretty. St. Croix is one of the territories of the United States, yet it does not have a 
Marine Park. Buck Island's a marine park, but it's a very small part of St. Croix. It's been overfished and abused. There are no restrictions on fishing, and they can even take lobster with scuba gear. It's kind of a pitiful thing. The visibility's bad, the algae's bad. You need to do something about it. Well, that's enough preaching for now. Thanks for coming and watching the video. Hope to see you soon. Visit us at scubaexplorations.com when you get